Strictly positive vibes. No bad mind. Straight love. Straight respect. I want to thank everybody for coming out to the first annual Canada Reggae Festival. It was a great festival. Great turnout. We just had a few miscues. Miscues, none of the fault of the promoters. None of the fault of the organizers. Junior Reed, he couldn't get into the country because he couldn't work on a green card. So, he couldn't make it because of his fault, not ours. Coco T, we, we gave Coco T his deposit. We also sent money to his hotel room and we asked him to get the remainder of the money at the venue and he refused which we couldn't do anything about. So Coco T disappointed his fans and disappointed everybody. We can't do anything about the artists because against, we're against the wire with these artists anyhow. Coco T's an old guy and he's like very grumpy, very sort of like everything have to be perfect for him. And everything, we try to make it perfect and we try to make it in a way that he was happy. And um, I guess we fell short by a little bit, which is, wasn't our fault. If he had came to the venue, he would have got his money. He never did come to the venue. And then after he put out a statement that said that we rode off on golf carts. I'm the face of this. And everybody know me. That don't happen. So, what I want to say to Coco T. I mean, I respect him as an old man. He's grumpy though, real grumpy, but he just gotta do better because kids like us look up to him. Kids like us would have took it a different level if he was a different person or a different sorta whatever. We could have took it to another level, you know? But I respect my, my elders and I come in peace and love, no disrespect. But I think he very, 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 very was out of place by disrespecting us. At least he could have gave us was a chance. He didn't give us a chance. After having all our monies in his hands, he decided to, whatever, not come to perform. Now, again, like I said, I'm the face of this. And I'm here. Right here. No reason to lie, no reason to say anything else, but we all felt disrespected by the by the legend Coco T. We felt very much disrespected. And again, I wish he would have done it a little bit better. At least he could have came to the venue, got the rest of his money, which was very small money. And then after did the show for the people. We had over 15,000 people that weekend. And to have 15,000 disappointed fans, it's really bad. But again, like I says, we always in the minority when it comes to the artists, because every time they could just say what they want and do what they want, and we're the ones considered wrong. We're the promoters, right? So the promoter's always wrong. That's what the, the world knows about promoters, that we always doing something that's wrong. We gotta live with that, because that's our job title or promoters so we just gotta live with it but I'm here to tell you that Coco T was wrong he was wrong by being the way he was being he was also wrong by his attitude and he was wrong by his deeds his deeds was totally wrong and I wish him the best but he's considered a failure in my book and I respect him but then again that's what he's considered in my book. Um, you know, legal actions and whatever and all this other stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be discussed. If it's to happen, it will happen. But on the other note, all I wanna say is that thanks for all the support that I've been getting. People been seeing me in restaurants, seeing me on the streets, seeing me and they're like, yo, you, I see you trying through all the hate 
to all the bad mind. I see you trying, you. And you know something? I respect the fans. I respect the love I get. I don't respect anybody else who be hating on me, who be trying to diss me, trying to say whatever. It's all good. All right? I can tell you that right now. I do my thing. And um, Coco T, sorry to say, but your old man, I respect you. But then again, you did the wrong thing. But I still respect you. Thanks to his band, his band spent the extra three, four days here in Canada with me. And I formed a bond with the band leader, Kevin, and the members. And I thank them for seeing, not hearing, but seeing the real. No fake, the real. And I thank them. I thank MC Nuffy. He was great. He was a great help also. When um, um, the other miserable old man, what's his name? Josie Wales, very miserable old man. Um, he was he was paid. Everything was happy. He performed. But it's just very miserable. Just like very unattainable type of miserable. Like old man miserable. And um, you know, those that's age. That's that, that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? My mom and dad, they, they, they aggravate me sometimes, but I love them to death, you know what I mean? Um, so that's how it goes. The older people has got a ways about them, so you just got to live with it. Um, Nuffy was great. He helped me out a lot. He also taught me a lot about the Jamaican culture, taught me how to react, taught me how not to react. Um, my boy Lanky, big, big, big Jamaican dude up in the community, he taught me a lot too. I give him respect for that. Respect for the crews and the crews that help 